Let me tell you about Cinema Massacre. Oh, a bunch of movies to talk about, too. We got so many favorites, and they're waiting here for you. We got movies for kids. But don't be sad because we also got the movies met, 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 met for mommies and dads. Come on, Cinemassacre video. We're right next to Caldor. We're trying to figure out what to do for the panel. And it's like, well, we can't just, you know, show a full movie and then talk about it or clip. Like, it'd be kind of weird. And so I was like, oh, maybe we can do like a clip show, but no one wants to watch clips of us from the show talking to you again. So, you know, the idea was, well, we'll do a clip show where we just show you funny clips and we'll talk about them and stuff that you guys need to see that we probably wouldn't do full episodes on. Is that all right? James, you, you want to talk about your first clip uh, oh, here? Am I up first? Yeah. All right. So, um, which, so, I mean, I'll give you a little intro. We'll talk a little more after it's over because there's no way to explain this. You just need to see it. But these are, <laughs> yeah, but I'll just tell you, <laughs> but I'll tell you where they came from at least was that uh, uh, these are uh, commercials from Japan, probably from the early 2000s, maybe late 90s, probably after the Matrix came out. So it must be like 99, 2000, 2001, like really early 2000s, maybe. Um, I don't, I don't know where to find them. I can't find them on YouTube anymore. A friend of mine gave me these a long time ago in college. I guess just roll the clip and just All check right. out these crazy commercials. Oh. Not even drink our beer. Just if you love beer. Yeah. <laughs> the best part is that the audio is always the same. It's the same like five words. Whip a snowball at that dog. All right, so first of all, I have no idea what is going on in any of those commercials. <laughs> I mean, maybe the last one. Okay, fair enough. He's probably they're they're both going for the food with the chopsticks, and then they're like fighting over the last piece or whatever. Um, but th there isn't really like any clear sense of what what they're trying to do, what's happening. But the commercials they're just amazing. I mean, it's it's like <laughs> like that level of Hollywood quality of like these like cinematic commercials you didn't see that too often during that time like this was more like something you'd only see during the super bowl or, or something like that like these were really like mini movies so i'd love to know how many more of those exist to my knowledge there's only one on youtube um is it the dog one because that's my favorite <laughs> oh no actually, it's actually none of those it's a, it's a different one. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the other yeah, dog was yeah i don't know so i, I guess the I next know. clip <laughs> Uh, this is from a uh, film, Spontaneous Combustion, um, which uh, it, this was a film by Toby Hooper, director of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Poltergeist. Um, so, I mean, this is one of his lesser known movies. You'll see John Landis in a cameo <laughs> early on in here. He, which, he's John Landis, director of uh, Animal House, Blues Brothers, American Werewolf in London. Um, yeah, check out some clips from this film here. 
Oh, and I guess the preface in general if you don't yeah. want to see like bodies exploding or guts coming out or like bondage <laughs> any of that stuff like you should probably leave if, if you're in it to win it that and cursing and all that that's great I just want to put that out there because so these these clips come all, I mean a lot of these clips coming up are gory but they are not convincing so yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, I, mine might we're, be. yeah <laughs> they're, they're, you, you don't know what we're playing yeah, yet I started looking could you take down a message and give it to him before he sees Brad Dourif. Oh, it's Brad Dourif? Listen, you idiot. Voice of Chucky. I don't think this is as important as your lousy snack. <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So the, the premise of spontaneous combustion is that, like, you know, people spontaneously just burst into flames. And this is like a phenomenon that some people believe to exist. Does anybody know any more about spontaneous combustion, the actual phenomenon? Only from South Park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you holding there, your farts? If you want to see more crazy stuff, like, look up some documentaries on spontaneous combustion. <laughs> There's people who swear it happens. Like, one minute he was there, and then all of a sudden he just burst into flames. There's nothing left but his shoes. And that was it. That that's definitely a, like a, just an arsonist trying to yeah. cover for themselves. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, oh, I know, exactly. Officer, he he lit himself on fire. <laughs> yeah, there's also but they give like reason. There's like a biological reason that like the chemistry in your body interacts in some <laughs> combustible way, and it's just something that happens, and people explode for no reason. You think? <laughs> and there's and there's a whole movie about it. I, I bet it's just like that. You think all the water in our bodies would. Yeah. Would put out those flames, but uh, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, so <laughs> that movie explode. could be real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me and my friends used to watch this all the time when I was in film school. We did a research into one case where it could, we, we were kind mm -hmm. of unverifiable. But apparently, what happened in this case was that a really rich person there at dinner all night. They didn't want to fart, so they held it in all night. Got home, got the silk sheets, rub, 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 spark of static, and poof. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so, uh, almost, well, so much it, spontaneous combustion, though. At least it involved <laughs> gas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. I you ever <laughs> please fart? Yes. You ever see the video of the guy that tries to light his fart and he ends up pooping his pants? <laughs> oh, no, I haven't. Oh, it's really good. Oh. He's wearing like long johns and it just squirts. Wow. It's it's pretty oh, funny. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Kieran pooped his pants the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. Fuck you, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted everyone to know that. He's, I'm like, like, he's like, don't tell anyone. I'm like, a tell week everyone. and a half ago. So these are these uh, forklift video. Yeah, these I'm also not aware of them being on YouTube anywhere. <laughs> so I mean, there may be clips. What, like you found something, right? Like, uh, well, with the forklifts. Like there's more, more yeah. but uh, some of them are actual forklift accidents. Oh, like, yeah. Some well, of them, like I looked up. I was like, because I was uh, trying to find your video. Uh, I forget uh, who I was trying to show because I was laughing about this one. <laughs> like, wow. And I found a real one, and it, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> these, okay. Like, yeah. So these are not real. These are <laughs> these are made up, but still like. Uh, um, the, these just keep in mind as you watch this these are are clips from real safety videos these are actual safety videos that were sold <laughs> and so just check it out <laughs> like the cool part hey catch oh man you're gonna get us in trouble oh come on what are you chicken <laughs> come on chicken come on catch <laughs> oh no! I went. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's gonna crush the guy! Rest in peace. No! I didn't see any of these! Industrial trucks. Oh no! Like most unauthorized drivers, Freddy didn't understand the rear wheel steering and sharp turning radius oh, yeah. of the truck. <laughs> this is and the best one. Lost right control. Here. Oh! <laughs> 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 yeah, that needs an applause. That that needs an applause. And 
and the crazy thing keep in mind these are just clips the each one of these is a 30 minute or more video and there's a whole series there's like cranes some of the effects like when they the, the part that gets me, when the, the forklift falls on the guy, like I'm thinking that looked like a real guy, but the forklift looked fake. Like a, a, like a, <laughs> it, it was like a lightweight forklift that they just kind of like, it, like fell apart. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's like, blah, 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 yeah. like, can we do like a, a Cinemask or rental store safety video? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, oh just God, like just yeah. us in the thing, like <laughs> forklift comes in the store. <laughs> yeah. I'm eating yeah. lunch and I get impaled. <laughs> Yeah. Like <laughs> through a fake brick wall. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you, you oh. want this is your last clip. My you? last clip. Okay, so this has anybody seen the Turkish Star Wars? Oh, okay, not enough. We're gonna. You're, this is gonna blow your mind. So <laughs> it was a totally separate film. Had nothing to do with Star Wars except for the fact that they blatantly ripped off Star Wars footage to use in it, <laughs> and also Indiana Jones music. <laughs> and what's also really funny, you notice how when you hear the music. You, they weren't able to add a sound effect on top of the music. So every time when there's a sound effect, the music has to stop and start over. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, the, the rest words cannot explain this. These are clips that I cut together, but keep in mind, like the, the juxtaposition of those shots are real. Th those are what it actually is in the movie. So when it looks jumpy, if it looks like things aren't making any sense whatsoever, that's because that's what it is. So check it out. Yok edin dünyayı. <gülüyor> Yakın mahvedin. Öldürün insanları. Yok <gülüyor> edin dünyaya. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so I, I have nothing else to say about that. It's still better than Last Jedi. That's every... When we upload this video, that's going to be every comment. <laughs> it's better than Last Jedi. What, like, what, like, what was wow. the name of the original movie? Like, that, like, Demon Decapitator? Like, <laughs> what the Does frick? It, yeah, I forget. Does anybody remember the original name? The Man Who Saved the World. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. My favorite part is when they show the Star Wars footage and it's like uh it looks like it's seen yeah. through like a peephole because oh, yeah, 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 most yeah. likely it was in somebody's bag as they filmed the Star yeah. Wars movie and we're like, Oh, there we go, we got some B roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a very special edition, that one, you know? Yeah, yeah very special edition. All, All right. the monsters have really brittle joints too. Yeah. They just cut in half, they their heads <laughs> pop right off. Oh, and there's parts like, where like he'll he'll take an arm off of one of them and then the next shot the arm's back on. So they didn't even <laughs> add, like, <laughs> All right, Tony, you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, who remembers the Demolition Man episode? Okay. So in that episode, I made a comment about how I, uh, I don't like seeing eyes being stabbed. This movie started my fear of having things go into eyeballs. Oh. That needle scarred me so much. And then a few mm -hmm. years ago, I cut my eyeball, so I had to live out my fear. <laughs> and you wonderful fans, every week... Send me multiple pictures and gifts and videos of eyeballs <laughs> being stabbed from movies, TV shows, sometimes real. Sometimes I get sent real eye stabbings. I had one guy message me like, hey, man, I had a question. I was like, what? And then he sent me an eye stabbing picture. <laughs> so this is uh, my revenge. Uh, you want to hit the lights? Okay, this is a scene from uh, Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me. Enjoy seeing a fingernail ripped off in close up. And that's what bugs me the most. Yeah, you look at it, James. You're not allowed to look away. <laughs> what is it? It's a piece of white paper. So there you go. There's one. There's part one of my revenge. Part two. Uh, who here is a wrestling fan? Oh, 
Who here is a fan of the wrestler uh, Psycho Sid or Sid Vicious? Or Sid oh, Vicious. yeah, you know. You all know. You all know. Hit the lights. Play the clip. <laughs> now, Sid Vicious up on top. Oh, that is look, so look at the, difficult. Look, look at the left foot. That is so difficult to watch. We've seen it already. Oh, another close ring. up. Already so many times, and it's still just so. Here it is, ready? Once again, Crunch. isolated. The foot. By the way, by the way, how mean of WCW to just replay that? I like, know. <laughs> that was like, you, that was like the next night. They're like, hey guys, something awful happened. Let's watch it over and over and over again. That was the uh, the Monday Night Wars, man. Okay, so that was part two of my revenge. Please stop sending me eye stabbing videos, please. <laughs> you know, by begging, you're gonna get way more, probably. <laughs> Oh. All right. Uh, oh, the nail was fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> That's David Lynch for you. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, David Lynch. For yeah. You. All right, so the next one. Th this one's nicer. Um, when you think of great dinosaur movies, you think of the classics. King Kong, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 3. No other Jurassic Parks. Uh, <laughs> but there's also a great, great dinosaur movie. You can watch it on YouTube, Amazon Prime. It's called Thugs vs. Dinosaurs. Oh, my God. I agreed to be in it, thinking I was a cameo. It turns out I was a third major character. <laughs> I'm half asleep for most of the movie. Um, there's plenty of continuity errors. And here's a scene. I'm, I could give context, but I'm not going to. But it features me and Justin. Let's roll that clip. York, you, you came back. Yeah, I found something back at the house. And I remembered. I may have lost a big part of my family last night, but I still have one. <laughs> hey! Hey, we're having a moment here. No, I meant hey as in hey, let's get out of here. Oh. No, we have to get a friend. Well, where is he? In the lake. Why is he in the lake? To stop the dinosaurs, that's where they're all coming from. How would you know that? Look, it's a long story, pal. York! The cuffs! Oh, right! <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> Top that, Spielberg! Wow! <laughs> And uh, that's all my clips. <laughs> it, there was like a part in there. You looked a little like Tom Savini. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten Tom Savini, Ron Jeremy, uh, John Belushi is the most I oh, uh, comparisons okay. I get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, those Kieran. dinosaurs are great. Oh, yeah, yeah. For my clips, I chose a, f a couple of my favorite scenes from one of my favorite movies, which is Razor Sharp. Yes. Um, <laughs> one person. <laughs> <laughs> According. <laughs> No, this is actually my copy. Uh, Tony's is at the office, but this yeah. is my copy. Yeah. Uh, we both really. Like I have two copies of this on VHS, uh, one on DVD. I found this at the Merchant Square Mall. I paid fifty cents for it. It's it's it it uh, captured my heart. Um, apparently, according to this quote by no one, it's the most riveting ac independent action film of the year. But there's no one that it says quoted this. <laughs> Not attributed um, to anyone. It's just yeah, there. it's just a quote. So anyone probably said this and was like, "Hey, yeah, this is the most riveting thing." And they're like, "Okay, pop it on the front." Uh, <laughs> it's his vengeance is cutting edge, and it's the story of Justin Sharp, played by Troy Nicolo Ashford, who spells his name with a K sometimes and sometimes with a C. Uh, <laughs> he also is the uh, director, producer, editor, uh, main star, and screenwriter of this film. Uh, and I chose uh, I chose a couple scenes. I chose uh, one of the final fight scenes, and I chose um, this conversation between Troy Nicolo Ashford, another woman, and it's got a special guest uh, spot by the boom microphone every second <laughs> of the damn thing. Uh, so please enjoy these clips of Razor Sharp. Uh, I'd also like to point out it's actually in the front of the store. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. no one's ever asked yeah, about I it. Yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, the, the store window, the poster, there's King Kong and I put Razor Sharp because, <laughs> and and everyone's like, what the hell is that movie? Yeah. How, how the hell is Cinemasker <laughs> Video in business? Like, yeah, with Razor here's, Sharp. Here's a I movie wish from I had. the 30s. Here's a movie no one's heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for the boom, Mike, because it's about to happen. 
<laughs> there's actually a scene too. I didn't put it in here because of time, but there's a scene where a guy hits his head on the boom mic. There's the boom mic. There it is. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Wait, are they supposed to be at a restaurant? Yeah. That's clearly just like a park. It's a park, guy. yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing a lot of this movie they did not have permits to film anywhere. <laughs> But you did some things out there I hadn't seen before. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, ready? Here we go, ready? Uh, Let's go. Different outfit, <laughs> <laughs> completely. Yeah. Wow. D different lighting, different day. <laughs> and then they kill her for some reason. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Um, there was a sunroof inside, and they cut to outside. There's no sunroof. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, okay, and then this is, the next scene come up is the final, one part of the final fight. Uh, this is the real bread and butter, let me tell you. This uh, entire scene was, I think, filmed over the course of several months, because in the beginning of it, it's like a summer day, and by the end of it, it's like winter. <laughs> All of a sudden, people ha are like, you see their breath. <laughs> that is a weak grenade. Yeah. Here it comes. Suck on this. Oh, sucker. <laughs> Suck on this. Sucker. Oh, okay. And then, uh. Wait, wait, he blew up? Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Spontaneous combustion. All right, so, uh, you can't find clips of what I want to show you. Um, in HD, they finally put Dead or Alive on Blu-ray, and oh. no, not the video game, and no, not, you know, the band, you know, they think White oh. Room. Yeah. No, this has nothing to do with the game. It's a um, uh, uh, Takeshi Miike film who did um, um, Itchy the Killer, stuff like that, like Japanese, that stuff. Audition. So I saw this in theaters in 2001. This movie's it, insane. It's, 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 it's a, <sighs> all right. You kind of have to watch it, but basically it's a mafia Japanese, like it's the mafia versus uh, the, the Yakuza's there, the triads, and they're all fighting each other and there's like murders and sword. It, it's crazy. The movie's crazy. It's a super serious like crime drama. Yeah, with swords and murder. Yeah. Joe Bob Briggs just hosted this on The Last Drive-In. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. man. His, I thought his, his commentary on it's yeah, really fun. Actually, yeah. Like his commentary is, is like, well, I'll tell you after. Let's just look for yeah. the clip. And I actually, I actually found the flyer, I should show it. Um, when I saw this in theaters, they double, it was a double header with uh, Uzumaki. Um, oh, I love it. So where people turn into like snails and it's horrifying. Yeah, if you've never read um, uh, the book of Uzumaki, oh my God, it's horrifying. So that's it's actually really great. That's gross movie, you know? So people started leaving the theater because it was like a midnight show and they're like, oh, gross. And they just start leaving. By this scene, there was three people left in the theater because the whole movie is awful. Like in, in this, in Dead or Alive, there's a bestiality scene, a girl gets drowned in poop scene. It's a crazy <laughs> crime, awful film. So um, Joe Bob said he gave a warning. He was like, "Look, I know a lot of you are eating food when you watch, you know, these, but th you don't want food anywhere near your stomach when <laughs> yeah. you see this." <laughs> and and the preface after the after you see the ending of it, because uh, I'm gonna show you the I'm gonna show you the ending of the movie. Um, there's two sequels. Keep that in mind. <laughs> when you watch this clip. And because it's on Blu-ray and it's hard to rip and capture, I'm just gonna plug it into this PS3 here and then just play it, all right?
Remember, there's two sequels <laughs> that take place in Japan. So I'm glad I got to share that with everyone. I've, I've been sleeping on that for a while. I'm glad uh, Joe Bob just did it uh, as well. But finally on Blu-ray, um, mm -hmm. it's fantastic. And I'm glad you guys got to. Yeah, yeah. What you do know. you guys think? You like? And that? clearly, Justin and Kieran don't know the meaning of the word clips. <laughs> they showed entire scenes. Just want to point that out. <laughs> You're supposed I, to edit the I tried the to cut them down, but... Yeah, I have to edit this. Thanks, guys. My, my clips were three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so I guess... Uh... That cool. you close it down, I guess. Yeah, close close, close the store done. down. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> right, thank Thanks, you. guys.